Hey guys and gals, Tipper Dash Teach Blazkin here, and I just recently pulled the trigger and bought a switch off a scalping a hole. Okay, I, I should stop calling them assholes, but it's just the factor. It's been such a popular console, and the scalpers just—it's it, like the NES Classic all over again. Minus the whole limited edition nonsense. Um, granted, it's going to happen with everything, but it is kind of frustrating, especially when it's at such limited supply. So, yeah. And the sad thing is, it doesn't even come bundled with a game, and I spent $378 on it. But I got the uh, blue and red Joy Con version. It uh, will be coming on the 18th. Uh, so. I am also debuting, or, well, before we get to that, um, I've been seen in a lot of reviews surrounding the Nintendo Switch that the Joy-Cons have too weird of a feeling, uh, to, with, in handheld mode. Well, here's the thing. I've been mostly... I mean, yes, I have consoles. I have a gaming PC. I have a laptop that's somewhat capable of playing some older titles. Um, mostly stuff from the 90s without thermal, uh, thermal throttling. But anything from the 2000s up with thermal throttles. But a lot of people say that the Switch Joy-Cons are... weird to hold and it's mostly because of the way the analog sticks are uh, formed in handheld mode which they're kind of similar to the Smoga controller which I use on almost a daily basis with my uh, smartphone I'm recording on right now and kind of has that going for it but as you see here same kind of config. Um, just about. Other than, you know, D-pad being an actual D-pad. But, like, because I know the Switch is about a very similar thickness on its Joy-Cons to this controller. I'm actually, I'm perfectly fine with this config. Maybe it's just the fact that I have a little bit smaller hands than most of uh, a lot of these reviewers. I mean, hell, we even go to another variant of the MOGA. This one meant for iOS. Same config. And about similar thickness. You know, and you're... Like this, I'd, I'd say is about the same length. You'd, you'd have the Nintendo Switch. And, like, this... This feels natural. Like... Other than this having more slider, like, controls like a 3DS. But... Like, this can work. And those who are, you know, hating on the linear triggers and that they aren't analog, um, I mean, until we start getting some heavy racing sims, like anything like Need for Speed or uh, Project Cars or, you know, The Crew 2 or whatever have you, um, until we get games like that, I don't think it's too much of a worry to work uh, to go about right now. Um, because control-wise, I mean, it seems perfect for what it is, and the factor that you know the controllers kind of split apart, and then you know you could have one person on one controller and kind of playing Street Fighter, and basically gives you two player out of the box without having to buy a second gamepad. Which, that, in my opinion, is a great value. And also the factor that Nintendo stepped away from doing proprietary uh, cables for their chargers. Mind you, I don't even have the Switch yet, but the factor they're using USB-C is great. The factor they're using standard micro SD cards for expandable storage, like my Android phone. 
instead of some proprietary BS. I'm looking at you, PlayStation Vita. Yeah. I can just swap in any standard micro SD card, which I have a bunch of them lying around because I've bought a few here and there for uh, my phones uh, that I've owned over the years uh, that were able to take micro SD cards to basically store music on them. Uh, so we got that going for it. And yes, it comes with a poultry 32 gig storage. Some people, that's kind of small these days. Okay, yes, maybe for the games that the Switch is coming out with. But the factor for me is, with the cartridges being as small as they are, I mean, thank goodness they're not as small as, let's say, a micro SD card. But they're about the same size as, like, the PlayStation Vita cards. Factor on how tiny those are. It's so easy to lose. I am going all digital on this console just because of that. I did the same thing on the 3DS, I did the same thing when I bought the R4 and backed up all my games on the uh, original Nintendo DS and DS Lite. Um, recent day with the PS... I've, I've gone all digital for the most part for console and PC gaming, uh, and even handhelds, which is why I actually supported the PSP Go. Um, now some would say it's a little bit hard to do that with something like the PlayStation Vita because of the exuberant memory cost, but that's not a problem with the Switch. See, Nintendo, unlike Sony with their arrogance and their CEOs with their heads up their asses, Nintendo kind of figures out how to balance that line of how to be budget friendly and at the same time have good performance. For the money. Especially when it comes to handhelds. Well, I'll give Sony credit. They created some great stuff. I loved the Vita when I had it. I loved... And I still love the 3DS. I love them equally, but... To be honest, I mean, okay, control-wise, out the box, without having, you know, a slight upgrade console, like the new 3DS XL, Vita wins hands down for controls. But when we're talking this brand new console that's a pure hybrid between portable and home console, which is great for me, because especially since I have to take the bus to work, to and from, bus rides can get kind of freaking boring. And especially when you're around a bunch of strangers, maybe thugs, drunks, whatever have you. Last thing I want is get into some awkward conversation, possibly end up in a fight. So I usually keep to myself by playing a game on my, uh, right now, um, I usually play like Mario Kart 7 or Street Fighter, Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, like I have a bunch of games on my 3DS, um, and same thing with the PSP. I usually carry around multiple portable systems. So I'm not without anything. If, like, let's say one of the system's batteries die, whoop de doo I grab another system. Like, I carry PSP Go, 3DS, or new 3DS XL, DS Lite, which kind of has a broken hinge, but I deal with it. Um, and... Soon to be the Nintendo Switch. And I also carry my phone. Um, and... I mean, trust me. Especially when you're visually impaired like me, or legally blind, and you can't drive. Road trips are a boring affair. Sure, you can try to make small talk with your family and a car ride, but it's like only so much you can talk about while on a long-ass car ride before it just gets boring. So, you know, what to do. And to be honest, here's the other thing with travel. Is, yes, I could have bought a laptop that's capable of gaming 
like the Dell Inspiron 7000 series, the 15 inch display, 1050 Ti and an i5 processor that probably has the same battery life as the Nintendo Switch. But here's the problem with that. It's cumbersome. It's bulky. It's a little bit too much to lug around. I mean, yes, it's not like I'm carrying my whole gaming tower. But it's still a little bit more unwieldy than a small tablet-like form factor system that the Nintendo Switch has become. And in all reality, with... Skyrim getting announced on there, that was one of the main reasons I wanted this system. On top of all the really great Wii U ports that are coming to it. We're getting Revelations 1 and 2. We got uh, Street Fighter 2. We got Pocket Tournament DX. We got Mario Kart Deluxe, which has like extra characters, all the DLC, and some extra bonus tracks. And, oh yeah, real battle mode arenas unlike on normal Mario Kart 8 where you're just basically doing battle mode on standard tracks that you would typically just race on um, which was outright stupid um, <laughs> I mean I, I'm going to be having a full console like experience on the go without having to like how I have in the past with my brony meetups as You've seen in the past on my channel, I did a few videos of some burning meetups I went, in, went to in the past, where I tried to bring my gaming setup, and it mostly revolves around me trying to lug around a monitor, lug around a console of some sort. I mean, yes, I kind of helped that with the G155, but still, you're looking around a huge bulky case. It really, you can't play on the road, even with an inverter. It's still kind of hard to do. Um, and to be honest, this is where the Switch prevails. Even as a PC gamer like myself, I still say the superior way to game on the go even in the age of smartphones. Which, come on people, let's be honest here. Touch controls are still shit. Compared to having actual tactile buttons. With real click feel. Especially if you're playing stuff like fighting games, racers. I mean, yeah, sure, you can use the tilt controls, but... I'm more of like an analog stick and D-pad kind of guy when it comes to racing games. And, um, let's see, RPGs. Like, the only genres that really work well with the phone are casual puzzle titles, slot machines that I don't understand why we have virtual slots these days. Um, why people play that. I actually, I still scoff at it to this day why people play slots. Um, most casual thing. And, um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Some turn based and RTS strategy games. Like, that's all I see doing well. Um, control wise. But if we're playing games like Postal, or Call of Duty, or even Minecraft, I prefer a controller. Especially for Crazy Taxi, I definitely prefer a controller. So, yeah. <laughs> Whew. So, in conclusion, you know, I haven't gotten it yet and started playing it but I'm already um well on the $20 game that I'm going to be getting or 15 to $20 title I'm going to be picking up and that will be Fast RMX 
And probably later on down the line, I'll get uh, Stardew Valley when that releases alongside Skyrim. Um, those are definitely some titles but right now, as of late. I am going between either Splatoon 2 or Breath of the Wild. Both are great games. One's a sequel to a game I absolutely loved on the Wii U. And the other is another great chapter in the Zelda series. Which would hold me over till Skyrim comes out, to be honest. So, I don't know, a great single player experience that I can play on the go. Or a great multiplayer game that happens to have a somewhat decent uh, single player campaign. You know, so leave your comments down below on which I should go with. So, peace out. Happy gaming.